Hey everybody, it's Drew from Como Comic Books. In today's video, I'm gonna give you the five essential items you're gonna to need to survive comic convention season. Hey, thanks for joining us on the Como Comic Books YouTube channel. My name is Drew Stewart, and if we're just meeting, I'm the owner of Como Comic Books. We are a comic book vendor based out of Columbia, Missouri. And on this channel, we provide you with videos that are gonna help you take your collection to the next level. Today's topic is timely as C2E2 is this weekend, which means convention season is officially kicking off. After this weekend, almost every weekend of the summer has some major show. Uh, whether it's here in the Midwest, on one of the coasts, Hawaii International, it's just nonstop until the end of the year. So while we're not going to be in Chicago this weekend for C2E2, that doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to help you have a better time if you're headed to the show this weekend, or if you're not going to hit a show until Planet later in March, or SDCC later this summer. These five things we're going to tell you today they're going to apply to any major convention you go to, whether it's comic books, sci-fi, you name it. If you're going to be on your feet all day, pounding the concrete at some sort of a convention, these things are going to get you through. Let's go ahead and get right into our list. The first thing you're going to need if you're hitting the floor of a convention, is going to be a backpack. You're going to be on your feet for a long number of hours. You're going to walk miles in reality. It may be 10, 15, 20 feet at a time, but while you are bent over digging through boxes of comics, trying to bob and weave through people on the sales floor, you're not going to want to have to worry about all the goodies you're going to pick up. You know, swag is a major thing with conventions these days. There's all sorts of giveaways and promo items. And ultimately, hopefully, you're going to these shows to pick up comic books. So you're going to have a lot of items building up throughout the course of the day. And you're going to need some place to go with those. You don't want to try and carry them in your hands because when you move from one booth to another, you've got this pile of, of books or whatever that you're sitting from one place to another. And it's really easy to walk off and forget some of those things or misplace them throughout the course of the day. The number one item you're going to need to improve your Comic Con experience is a backpack. Next up on our list, I recommend putting your comic collection in an inventory app or a cataloging app like CLZ. You want to have a list of the books you're looking for. Now, this is the 21st century. You know, it's 2020, everybody. I still see people walking around with their Excel spreadsheet, and that's great. It's worked for a lot of people for a lot of years, but there's a really big risk you run if that's how you're operating your, your want list or your need list. And the problem with that is that physical list is really easy to lose okay so you set it down somewhere somebody sets something on top of it you drop it and you don't realize it and then all the time that has gone into composing that list is out the window you've lost it you have no backup unless you update it on your computer at home but you're done for the weekend the modern solution to this problem is a program called clz now I'm not getting paid by CLZ. They don't even know who I am. I guarantee it. But myself, Bob, several other members of the Midwest Comic Collectors group on Facebook, which quick plug for that. If you're not in the Midwest Comic Book Collectors Facebook group, go ahead and join up. We do a lot of talking about the comic market, collecting, and it's just a great community where we support each other in the hobby. Enough on that. Um, but CLZ, many of us use this app. It's changed my experience in comic collecting. I don't buy doubles anymore, which there's nothing more disappointing than grabbing a book and you're excited about it and you think, hey, I finally got this one. And you get home and you realize, oh, I already have it. The beautiful thing with CLZ, it is a cloud-based app. All you have to do, and I will admit this, it takes a little bit of time at first. You've got to enter in everything that's in your collection. Once you do that, you can upload that to the cloud. You can sync it with your tablet, your desktop, any format that CLZ works with. You can sync your mobile device, your iPad. If you have a laptop you take with you to shows, whatever you decide to take, and you have access to that list. And you can update it as you go, okay? So there's no physical list to lose. CLZ, it's on iOS, it's on Android. You're gonna really like this app, I guarantee it. 
don't be afraid of the initial setup time. I got my collection in CLZ a box a day over the course of a couple weeks. And honestly, it's been one of the best things I've ever done. If you don't use CLZ, I recommend you find another collecting app and go ahead and modernize that want list, that missing issues list, and you're not gonna regret it once you're on the backside of the work, once you have the fruits of your labor to enjoy. It's gonna make keeping track of your collection and the things you need a lot easier. Number three on our list of Comic Con essentials is provisions. Whether that's a bottle of water and a granola bar, some raisins and a Diet Coke, whatever your particular flavors are, throw something in your bag to have just in case. Now, I'm not trying to get you in trouble or anything. A lot of conventions do have rules about bringing in food and drinks. Most of the time, you're not gonna get in too much trouble if you bring in a sealed bottle of water and some kind of small snack. And if you go to the concession stand of these places and you see the prices, you're gonna be glad that you brought in a 50 cent bottle of water from home as opposed to a $4 bottle of water with the same water in it that you can get at the concession stand. When you're at a convention, a lot of times, you know, not everybody gets to go the whole weekend. Sometimes you're just there for a day or a part of a day even. You're not gonna wanna be tied down standing in line at a concession stand for 10 or 15 minutes throughout the day if you've only got a handful of hours that you can spend out on the floor. Number three recommendation, throw a bottle of water, some sort of beverage, some sort of a snack in your backpack, which is again, our number one item. So you have it and you don't have to stop and take that time out of your weekend. Number four on our list, comfortable shoes. The whole point of a comic book convention is you're gonna get out and you're gonna see a whole lot of stuff that you don't normally see on your average weekend or your average event. So that means you're gonna be hightailing it from one end of a convention hall to another. This may sound kind of like an old man trick, but you gotta take care of your feet because the concrete is not gonna get any softer as the weekend goes on. If you're gonna be at a show for multiple days, I even recommend bringing more than one pair of shoes so you can alternate them out. That way you kind of give one pair of shoes a chance to recover. Uh, just because I know in my personal experience, by the time I'm at the end of a three day show, it's usually day four for us because setup is typically the day before, I'm just beat. Having fresh shoes to put on, every single day taking care of my feet throughout the course of a convention is a great way to keep the level of enjoyment up throughout the weekend because if you're pounding the concrete not taking care of your feet whether there's a, a four-day show where it's thursday friday saturday sunday or a three-day show that's friday saturday sunday if you abuse your feet for the first two days by the time sunday comes around you're going to be hobbling around you're not gonna be able to get to everything you wanna to get to, and it's gonna take you a bit longer to get recovered because your dogs are gonna be barking, for lack of a better way to put it. Your feet are not gonna forgive you for a while. So, tip four, wear comfortable shoes. All right, we've made it to the end. Our number five Comic-Con essential item, cold hard cash. I, I can't state enough how important it is to carry cash with you when you're at a comic con, especially if you're gonna be buying uh, comic books. In today's world, everybody has Square, everybody has some sort of a card reader. People can take PayPal, uh, Apple Pay, contactless. There's a million different ways that you can transfer money from yourself to the comic vendor or dealer that has that book that you've spent the whole weekend looking for. The catch with cash is, if your intentions are to negotiate a better price than what the items marked, cash is the only way to go. On occasion, you may be able to get a small discount if you're paying with card, uh, but most cases you're not gonna have that option because the vendor is taking into consideration they're gonna have to pay a percentage, you know, the uh, swipe fee or just a flat percentage off of that transaction. Whereas if you're paying them in cash, they automatically at that point are better off because they don't have that transaction fee that they're gonna have to pay for. Also, if we transition back to talking about concession stands and stuff, sometimes these places won't take debit cards or credit cards. Having cash is still sometimes the only way that you can complete a transaction. Our number five last tip is keep a pocket full of cash. Quick side note on that, don't rely on the venue to have an ATM that you can pull cash out. 
come to the show with cash, especially if you're going to be at the show later in the weekend. A lot of times the on-site ATMs, well, yes, they did start off loaded with $20 bills. By the time you get a day or two in the show, they're depleted and they're basically giant life-size paperweights. And they're not going to give you any money. They're not going to give anybody else any money. You're just SOL at that point. So set your budget, pull that amount of money out of the bank and come to the show ready to have a good time. All right, so that was it, our top five Comic-Con essentials. I hope utilizing these five items that you're able to take your Comic-Con experience to the next level here in 2020. If you're going to be attending a show this year, comment below and let us know where you're gonna be. Maybe we'll be there as well. And, you know, we can meet up and say hi. If you're getting value out of these videos we're doing, I encourage you to please hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified whenever we upload a new video. And we are gonna to continue to do our best to get out meaningful content at least once a week so that we can continue to grow in the hobby together. So with that, I hope everybody has a good night, a great weekend. And uh, from Drew and the rest of the Como Comic Books gang, take care. Hey, this is Drew from Como Comic Books. If you got value out of this video or any of our other videos, please hit subscribe. Help us grow our channel so we can continue bringing quality content to the comic book community and help everybody have a more enjoyable time within the hobby. Thanks and have a great day.